peripheral visual field loss is a particular problem in children, partly because it's quite common and secondly because it's very difficult to pick up. Lots of different things can cause visual field deficit, uh, such as visual pathway tumours or brain infarction in children or otherwise some ocular abnormalities like retinal dystrophy and optic atrophy. Our main problem with children, though, is that it's extremely difficult to pick up when these visual deficits happen, and that is why we have created Kids' Eyes. My name is Louise Allen, and I'm a consultant paediatric ophthalmologist at uh, Addenbrooke's Hospital, which is part of the Cambridge University Hospital Trust. At the moment, there's no other way, really, of testing visual fields in children besides quite an old-fashioned technique uh, using little finger puppets where we look at, we get the child's attention with one finger puppet and bring in the other one, and we see how they react to the other puppet. Now, the problem with that is it's very susceptible to bias on the examiner's point of view, and uh, if you get lots of people to do it, they'll find a variety of different things. So we want to try and have a more standardised test uh, and that is hopefully what the kids' eyes perimeter will do for us. There have been a number of um, researchers in the past that have developed a similar sort of model for um, looking response for children, uh, but these have mostly been research tools. And what we wanted to create was a perimeter which is much more child-friendly and can be used in a wider range of circumstances in most clinics or even in the community. So we've devised a screen, a large plasma screen that the child sits in front of, and there's a central cartoon video playing, so it draws their attention to it, and they're immediately quite sort of uh, into doing the test. Uh, and occasionally an object will come up in the periphery, another cartoon, while the central one freezes, and the child's attention will be drawn to that peripheral target as long as it's within their visual field. Um, the plasma screen has a little webcam which has been modified to look at the child's response, and that image is broadcast to a... A clinician sitting on a monitor elsewhere so they can actually look at the child's response to the peripheral target. We had thought about using eye tracking technology for that but in fact it seems to work a lot better if you have somebody who's used to looking at preferential eye movements uh, in children to actually grade whether that response has occurred. Uh, one of the problems uh, in child children who have visual field defects is they tend to make hunting movements into their blind visual field. And that's particularly difficult when you're doing confrontation testing because they will tend to look up your arm uh, and they'll tend to sort of hunt. And actually it's quite difficult to draw them back to the centre and see if they're actually some seeing something coming in from the periphery. So uh, because the object of interest is, is much better for them having the cartoon there, uh, they tend to sort of fixate much better on the cartoon and of course there's, there's no hint to them, they, you can't, they don't follow the arm up to the target, it is just a target there. So in order to see it, they will actually have had to see it in that visual field. We've done an initial clinical trial of kids' eyes in 74 uh, kids, some of whom have, have neurological problems that might be associated with the visual field loss, and others who are controls. And basically we've shown the kids' eyes to be 100% sensitive and specific compared to confrontation visual testing uh, in those kids. Uh, it's picked up a wide range of quadrantinopias, hemianopias and visual field constriction. Well, we're hoping that we'll be able to commercialise kids' eyes uh, and it'll be widespread in its use uh, in paediatric ophthalmology departments. It's possible that with a few modifications we could uh, make it much more transportable so it might be able to be um, taken into the community and used for community screening. Um, and the other possibility is that visual impairment teachers might want to use it for that as well so when they see children in the community they can actually measure the visual fields themselves.